Hey guys, Jason with Fat Fender Garage. I get a lot of people that call me about used Coyote motors, where we're getting them, what's the best way to get them, which motors are the best ones to get, and so it can be confusing. So let me tell you a little bit of what I have learned here about buying used Coyote motors. So we buy out of a Mustang GT. Uh, one of the sources we can get motors from is LKQ. Uh, we've got another guy that we buy uh, full pull-out motors from as well. And there's plus and minuses to all this. And so when you buy a full motor, complete all the components and everything, you're gonna pay the most money, but you're probably gonna get maybe the best product that way. And so you may spend just for a motor, tranny, harness and everything, computer, pedal, you could easily spend $8,500, which is a lot of money, okay? So another way is to kind of buy parts and pieces. A motor here, and you notice right over here we have a transmission. And so we get the parts and pieces and that allows us to save a little bit of money. But then there's the drawbacks. So this is a motor that we purchased from LKQ. It's a low mileage motor, has about uh, less than 10,000 miles on it. Uh, and it also comes with a one year warranty as well. And so we know that it's a good motor, we know that it runs, we know that they're gonna stand behind it and so we have a lot of confidence. The downside is, if you notice, they just cut all the little engine harness and everything. They don't really save anything that they could possibly save. So they pretty much junked uh, a lot of the motor and you can see a lot of the parts that were just cut off. And so that can be a problem, uh, but not usually. So a lot of those parts aren't very expensive. So you can buy from Ford uh, an engine harness for less than $200. Um, and a lot of these components you can purchase. Uh, the good news also with LKQ is that they'll actually, if I complain enough, they'll actually send me the parts that I need because they know that they want us to keep buying motors. And so um, pretty good options for you. Uh, if you can't afford a crate motor, uh, those can be very expensive with all the components. Uh, this is definitely another way. One last way is to go with a truck motor, an F-150. And I usually tell people from 2013 and newer, we don't use 2011 and 12 Coyote motors here. Although they're cheaper, they're substantially less horsepower, and you're doing all this work to get horsepower, why would you go with those motors that have about 60 to 70 less horsepower? So we kind of stick with these, a little bit better product, a little bit more refined, and all the control packs and everything are kind of geared towards it. So they're plus and minuses. The 2013 and 15 actually is a really good motor. Uh, you have a lot of options on harnesses. When you get to 15, 16, 17, you kind of get more focused in. You might have to go with the Ford Racing Control Pack or some of those other things. And so um, a lot of that stuff is uh, you know, pretty easy to come by, a lot of this information, but it's just some stuff that we wanted to share with a lot of people that have those same questions and hopefully we can you know, answer those with a video. So just to clarify, LKQ is a nationwide used parts supplier to the all the automotive industry and so they're huge another option would be ebay a lot of the guys that are pulling motors out uh, to sell and make money they post a lot of those on ebay and you want to be careful about getting motors that have been you know the car's been hit in the front and smashed because it could be something wrong internally so you're looking for side impact rear impact those kinds of uh, cars and if you're brave enough and you want to go to your local insurance auto auction and buy a whole entire car then you can pull your own motor out and you can usually pick those up for maybe $7,000, $8,000. Get your motor out of it and then try to sell all the rest of the parts and try to recoup some money and, and uh, save some money that way as well. A lot more work that way, something we don't have time for here. We're usually get, get the motors, let's get them in and let's get rocking and rolling. And so, but those are some ways that you definitely can find uh, savings uh, purchasing your own motors.